Hello, my name is Scott Davis. Welcome to New World Birth. This is the weekly neutrino forecast for September 25th to October 1st of 2016. And on September 25th, we have the sun. You can see it denoted by this black circle with a dot in it. It's in Libra. It's also in the 46 hexagram. And on the outside of the wheel, we have the chop mark for the 46 numbered from bottom to top. The 46 goes yin, yang, yang, yin, yin, yin. And then the 46 hexagram is mapped to an opening in an energy channel called a gate. And right here, this is the 46 gate of determination of the self, pushing upwards good fortune that may be perceived as a result of serendipity, which arrives from effort and dedication. Located in the G center, in a collective abstract energy path in the sensing circuit called the channel of discovery. A design is succeeding where others fail and failing where others succeed. Uh, that connects with the 29th gate of saying yes, the abysmal, the deep within the deep, persistence despite difficulties has its inevitable rewards. And I find human design to be amazingly accurate in describing the person that I use it as my primary tool when I provide readings. And we have the following activated gates on September 25th. The sun is in the 46th gate with the earth in the 25th gate. The north node is in the 64th gate with the south node in the 63rd gate. Mercury is newly direct and it's in the 64th gate along with the north node. Venus is in the 50th gate. Mars is in the 10th gate. Jupiter is in the 46th gate along with the sun. Uh, Saturn is in the 9th gate. We have Uranus and it's retrograde in the 42nd gate. Neptune is retrograde in the 37th gate, and Pluto is at a standstill or stationed as it turns direct on the 26th, and it's in the 38th gate. So obviously not every gate activation forms a channel, but this information can be helpful if you know your own human design chart, because some of these transits will form channels with potentials in your personal body graph. And we begin the week with no channel definitions due to the transit field. September 25th begins with the sun in the fifth line of the 46 hexagram, and the sun in the 46.5 is described as pacing, exalted the maintenance of proper rhythm that in its instinctive uh, practicality avoids radical diversions from successful patterns. Uh, the determination to stay with the rhythm that brings success detrimented and irrational rejection of the very pattern that has proven successful, determined to say no to the very rhythm that brings success. Later on the fifth, the sun then moves into the sixth line of the 46th hexagram uh, and at uh, 10, 19 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 14, 19 UT, the sun in the 46.6 is in the line of integrity, exalted the wisdom to secure one's identity through consideration of the restrictive potential uh, of commitment, uh, the determination uh, to say no to restrictive commitments, detrimented deceiving oneself and others by overextending one's resources and eventually being in a position of having to break promises. The drive for success that will, n uh, will not say no and will end up breaking promises. And then also on the 25th, Venus moves from the uh, 50th gate in the hexagram into the 28th connecting with uh, Pluto uh, in the 38 and bringing this definition. Um, so we have uh, Venus uh, in human design is about values, morality, natural law, which we deal with the other and the consequences of the world uh, around us. And Venus is in the 28th gate of the game player, preponderance of the great, the transitoriness of power and influence. And Venus is detrimented in the first line of the 28th. Uh, which is the line of preparedness, uh, uh, sorry, preparation, uh, determined, uh, detrimented the aesthetic uh, appreciation of 
planning that may have no real application. The uh, intuition for detail without the potential for application. And in the program, Venus is about control through maintaining the status quo in the way in which we operate with each other. Uh, we experience all the transiting planets through the Maya, and we're not really here to avoid the Maya. It's impossible. Uh, but we can embrace it as yourself by following your strategy and authority. And with Venus in the 28 and Pluto in the 38, we have the channel of struggle, which will be affecting us until the 29th. Uh, this brings experiences where people struggle against overwhelming odds, and it's through this uh, archetypal hero's journey of fighting for our purpose that empowers others to stub stubbornly fight for what holds meaning for them. This is about empowerment that comes from being who we're meant to be instead of following the conditioning of our families, schools, religions, and governments. And they said to be deaf so that they don't hear the other and become distracted from their authentic uh, authentic path. Uh, for those without a defined root center, uh, this transit definition can bring pressure, which may have folks in a hurry to get things done to release their stress. And the defined splenic center uh, brings intuition and well-being. And Ra warned that non-splenic people uh, may let go of something that is good for them during a transit defining the splenic center. And this is also individual circuitry. Uh, so this definition brings melancholy or blue feelings, which are best used in creative activities. Activities. And on the 26th, the sun moves out of the 46th, leaving behind Jupiter, and it moves into the 18. And the Earth moves out of the 25, and it moves into the 17. So we've got the Earth is in the uh, 17th hexagram, and this is the gate of opinions following the ancient law that those who wish to rule must know how to serve. And this shift happens at 916 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 1316 UT, with the sun in the 18th gate of correction. Uh, work on what's been spoiled. The vigilance and determination to uphold and defend basic and fundamental human rights. And the sun is in the first line of the 18th. Uh, which is uh, 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 conservatism, the adherence to traditional uh, patterns despite and or in spite of changing circumstances, exalted gradual modification to avoid eventual upheaval, the potential to correct through gradual modification, detrimented the patriarch who rigidly guarantees a, a, a deterioration, uh, the potential to refuse to correct. Um, and as we move from the 46 to the 18, find right, something a little more sticky here, hopefully, uh, to the 18, um, we are uh, we enter a collective logic gate uh, of sharing perfection, of seeing patterns and what needs uh, 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 correction. Uh, not necessarily knowing how to fix the problem, uh, but that there is an issue that's not working correctly. And gate 18 brings the fear of authority. I mean, to do a bunch of correction here on this 18th gate. Okay. It brings the fear of authority. Um, and also, um, you know, is here to challenge authority. Um, this is, again, we're in the quarter of duality, and often the first authority we challenge is our parents. Uh, and many people with the 18th gate um, are... are uh, are, are strongly, more strongly influenced by the opposite sex parent. Um, uh, so in, in even like a woman whose father, let's say, was absent, uh, the absence of the father can have a greater impact than the mother who actually raised her. And authority can be unreasonable. And this is the stream of taste. And it's harmonic is the uh, 58th gate. 
uh, in the root center of uh, joyous stimulation of perfection. Uh, together they form the channel of judgment. Uh, and because this is collective, this is a this is constructive criticism for the benefit of society. Its polarity is the Aja Center seventeenth uh, gate. Uh, of organizing through opinions. Uh, this is another collective logic gate. The 17 has opinions that seek detail, and the sun in the 18 is here to question authority and to offer correction uh, for, uh, for the good of the collective. Uh, for the good of humanity, to organize society. This uh, brings us to the third variation of the cross of service, uh, which is uh, the most logical cross. Logic is uh, future-oriented. It looks at patterns. Uh, some that come in on this cross use it to criticize their family and friends. Um, they can be deeply dissatisfied, uh, but through this uh, dissatisfaction, they become of service. And then on the 27th, the sun then moves into the second line of the 18th hexagram at uh, 8, 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 12, 12 UT. The sun in the 18, 2 is described as terminal disease. The recognition that what has been spoiled is irreversible. Exalted acceptance and strength derived from faith in spiritual regeneration. The acceptance that there is no potential for correction. Detriment, the futile raging against the wind. The refusal to accept that there is no potential uh, for correction. And then also on the 27th, Mercury moves uh, out of the uh, 64 and, and into the 47. Up here at the Oslo Center, uh, which defines uh, the Oslo Center and the Head Center. Well, we've had this channel off so often lately. I mean, I've got the whole channel of the thinker, and I have the four, and I, this has just been a long period of having every head Ajna channel defined for me. Um, so, uh, and then we have uh, also there's a lot of movement here. So we have. Uh, Mercury moving from the, from the 64 to the 47, leaving behind the north node. We've got Jupiter moves out of the 46, and it joins the sun in the 18. Uh, and then we have Saturn, and Saturn moves from the 9 to the 5. So a lot of planetary movement on the 27. Uh, so let's start with Mercury. Mercury is the messenger of the gods in, in mythology. So this is communication or expansion of human consciousness through communication, not just as words, but also as music, according to Ra. Uh, and it is in the gate of realizing oppression, a restrictive and adverse state uh, as a result of internal weakness or external strength or both. And Mercury in the first line of the 47 is in the line of taking stock, exalted. The ability in times of hardship to concentrating on eradicating the negative factors that have led to oppression, realizing that negative thoughts have to be eradicated, detrimented, the delusion of seeing oppression as an exclusively external phenomenon with disastrous results, uh, the sense that the world is against you. Uh, and in the program, Mercury is about expression through communication. It influences the homogenized population to communicate about the themes of the gate and the line that transiting Mercury inhabits. Its primary impact is psychological. It impacts the not-self mind. It distorts the way we look at things in a way that leads to action. Uh, this conditions people to think and communicate about the same things. And in the 47th gate, I expect people would be talking about having oppressive experiences. And then also on the 27th, 
We've got Jupiter moving from the 46, joining the Sun in the 18. Uh, in human design, Jupiter is generalized law. Jupiter ends in the 18th gate of correction, work on what's been spoiled, the vigilance and determination to uphold and defend uh, basic and fundamental human rights. And Jupiter is detrimented in the first line of the 18. Uh, which is conservatism, uh, the adherence to traditional patterns despite and or in spite of changing circumstances, detrimented the patriarch who rigidly guarantees deterioration, the potential to refuse to correct. And in the program, Jupiter is about expression uh, through bringing out the general rules of the program. We're all, uh, we are all being conditioned to follow the same rules, to abide by those rules, to, to drive you to action. So following your strategy and authority, uh, follow your strategy and authority, not the rules of the program. Um, also on the 27th, uh, like I said, we have uh, Saturn moving from the 9 into the 5. Uh, and uh, uh, the fifth hexagram is fixed rhythms, waiting, the fundamental uh, attunement to natural rhythms, waiting as an active state of awareness. As Saturn is in the first line of the five, uh, which is a, a, a perseverance. If the captain must, he goes down with the ship, exalted the courage in the face of adversity. Uh, the power to maintain one's own rhythm, detriment, the premature and often disastrous urge to cut one's losses, weakness in maintaining one's rhythm when challenged. And in the program, Saturn brings control through uh, constraint. It holds us in our, in our place through restraint and limitation to maintain our not-self relationships with each other. We experience transcendent planets through the Maya, as I said before. So uh, again, it, it, the, the way to operate correctly in the Maya is by following your individual strategy and authority. And with the North Node in the 64, and Mercury in the 47, we've got the channel of abstraction, the design of mental activity mixed with clarity until October 2nd. Uh, the energy of this channel is about uh, creating something new out of something old. Uh, this is about abstract thought being brought into the collective consciousness through the arts, philosophy, history, and culture. It's wonderful energy for telling stories about our experiences that inspire others, but it brings confusion when used to resolve our own issues. And the defined Aj in the center can influence those without um, to believe that they're mentally certain even when they're not. And the defined head center can influence those without to bring pressure to think about things that don't really matter. And then on the 28th, the sun then moves into the third line of the 18th uh, hexagram at 7.07 .07 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 11.07 UT. The sun in the 18.3 is detrimented uh, due to uh, Jupiter being in the 18. And this is the line of the zealot. Uh, the energetic obsession uh, uh, to clean house, detriment and rigid judgment that only that creates as many problems as it solves, an obsession with correction that does not bring satisfaction. Uh, and on the 29th, the sun then moves into the fourth line of the 18th gate and hexagram, and uh, the sun in, 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 and this shift happens at. 6.01 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 10.01 UT. Uh, the sun in the 18.4 is the incompetent. Difficulties as a result of inadequacies that cannot be resolved because of inadequacies. Uh, exalted, uh, given this negative position, survival through suffering, the inability to correct and its potential for suffering, detriment, indecision and anxiety and no escape from misfortune the demands of correction and its potential uh, to generate anxiety. And then also on the 29th, Venus moves uh, from the 28 to the 44. Pluto back in here. And the 44.
Okay, uh, so we've got Venus, uh, again, we talked about it being about values, morality, um, and it is in the gate of alertness, coming to meet. Uh, the success of any interaction is uh, is based on the absence of any preconditions. And Venus is detrimented in the first line of the 44 um, of conditions. The establishment of framework is a result of I I interaction. Detrimented, an active, uh, attractive nature that will interact with inferior forces and will fail to apply re uh, restrictions resulting in the risk to continued harmony, the failure out of instinct, a failure of the instinct out of the need for harmony. And then on the 30th, the sun then moves into the uh, fifth line of the 18th hexagram at 4.54 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, uh, which and 8.54 UT, the sun in the 18.5 is described as therapy, the strength to recognize a problem and to accept that it is beyond one's power to solve alone, exalted the wisdom uh, to both seek and provide guidance, the potential for correction and judgment through relationships, Detrimented, the mental patient, chronic instability and potential madness, uh, where relationships cannot uh, uh, assist in correction of the uh, uh, correction uh, cor the potential of mental instability. And then October 1st, the sun then moves into the sixth line of the 18th gate and hexagram. Uh, at 3.47 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 7.47 UT, the sun in the 18.6 is Buddhahood, the perfected form, exalted, the Buddha state of the eternal child and the energy to find new horizons and avoid stasis, the potential of the perfected form through correction, detrimented, the mundane application of the above, the ability to tap public opinion and share methodology, uh, the potential to share the values of correction with others. So thank you for checking out New World Birth. The next segment of the weekly neutrino forecast will be for October 2nd, 2016, should be available on the 1st, when we'll continue to look at the influence of the heavenly bodies as they transit the sky and the hexagrams of the I Ching. You can check us out on Facebook, Blogger, or YouTube. There's New World Birth presences in all those places. And I encourage you to share this information as videos or as text as widely as you choose. I invite you to contact me at newworldbirth at yahoo.com if you've got any questions or you wish to schedule a reading. And if you've been thinking about getting a reading, please contact me. I would love to provide you a reading during these uncertain times. You'll need to be able to either call me in Maine in the USA, or we can connect with Skype to receive your reading. We're also accepting donations to keep these reports freely available. Uh, and uh, like I've said before, things have gotten very lean. Uh, we haven't had many donations or many readings lately, um, so I am at, on the verge of uh, looking at uh, 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 when these uh, uh, reports will be no longer available. Um, so you do have a chance right now uh, to, to help us out uh, if you uh, are so inclined and, and have the resources to do so. Um, and uh, but uh, as things are looking right now, I, I, I have a hard time imagining that we'll be going uh, much more than than a month from now. Um, anyway, as always, I'm blessed that you've taken the time to connect with my passion for these ancient mysteries, their synthesis and application to our journey during this incarnation. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste in Lakesh. And as Ra would say, love yourself. Anyway, all my best to everybody and look forward to connecting with you in the future.